In amazement, Mary and Elizabeth spoke of angels and answered prayers and praises. The glorious Gabriel had not only visited Zacharias, but Mary. She had spoken of him in person like she knew him. She saw him and knew he was God's messenger of the good news. Even Joseph, her betrothed, had told of his encounters with the angel. It was all too wonderful to comprehend completely, but they had learned to trust God. Gabriel, of those who long to look at human things, receive the nod of God to spread your wings, transcending a scarlet sky spread with clouds, stars, rainbows arching over the storm, spiraled earth below. Wise men considered your streaking strobe, flashing fire circling a cluttering globe. You had traced this luminous path, but six moons ago, neighbors speculated on Elizabeth's maternal glow, some strange miracle like Sarah of old. Could it be so? Does God above really care for the earth, promising men salvation and eternal worth? Veering slightly north to Nazareth, as dawn broke, suddenly stood before the maid Mary and spoke, Fear not, for this, in this day star hour, you will know Holy Spirit power. God's only divine son will be born, Emmanuel. He will we will return with glorious news to tell. Ah, nine times the monthly shofar was blown. Messiah prepared to leave his heavenly throne, for the cradle and the cross was his alone. The angelic host unrolled the midnight sky like Isaiah's scroll. The bells of the universe began to toll. Holy, holy, holy. Good evening. Welcome to Safe Harbor's annual Christmas service. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, as we approach this Christmas season, we celebrate the birth of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. I ask a blessing over our country that you will give us strength and wisdom as a nation to move our country towards peace and unity among all men and women. We ask a special blessing over all the active duty men and women who are, at this very moment, fighting to keep this country free, allowing us to worship together here this night in peace. I pray for Safe Harbor. Continue to bless us, guide us in your understanding, and never allow us to become comfortable. I pray for the pastor that you have chosen to lead this church and are soon to reveal to this congregation. Equip him to lead this body of Christ, to preach your word, to baptize believers, to guide our youth and equip this body to seek and save the lost. I pray for our community that they would come to know Safe Harbor as a beacon of hope for all that is lost. And I pray for each individual that is here tonight. Allow them to clear their minds, give them a sense of peace, and allow them to enjoy the true reason for the season. Fill them with the Christmas spirit and allow them to shine the light of Jesus on everyone they meet this holiday season. We thank you for all your many blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
So glad that you have joined us tonight for our fourth annual Christmas service. Tonight, as you sit, take a breath and relax. We are starting the most wonderful season of the year as we await with expectation the celebration of the birth of Jesus. Tonight, when you came in, you picked up a chrismon, and in a few minutes, you'll see this is, this is a congregation inclusion service. We want everyone to take part. So when your chrismon is called, if you will just come up and we'll hang it on the tree here to my left. A chrismon is a combination of parts of two words, Christ and monogram. A chrismon is just that, a monogram of Christ that is placed on the Christmas tree. These monograms are symbols, are traditionally made in combinations of white and gold. White is a liturgical color for Christmas, but it contains all the colors of the spectrum and reminds us that Jesus brings to us in himself the fullness of what it means to be human. The gold reminds us of his majesty and glory. We use white lights on the tree to remind us that Christ is the light of the world. In our service today, you will learn the meaning of each symbol before we hang it on the chrismon tree. Now, in the spirit of our gathering, in this special moment, please join with the Chrismon Choir in singing, Come All Ye Faithful. Oh, God. 
The fish is one of the most ancient symbols for Jesus. When Christians had to hide because they weren't liked, they would often indicate to one another where meetings were being held by drawing the sign of the fish on the ground. Matthew 4:19 And he said to them, "Follow me, and I will make fishers of all people." The bell is a later western symbol that arose from the church bells calling people to worship. It represents the proclamation of the gospel to the world. Mark 16, 15, Jesus said to them, go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. The angel is a messenger of God, telling Mary and Joseph about their special child, as well as the shepherds when Jesus was born. Luke chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. Those of you holding a fish, a bell, or an angel, please come forward and hang it on the tree. Join in singing, Angels, We Have Heard.
When we see the dove, we know that it is a well-known symbol for peace. As the Prince of Peace, Jesus assured his followers of God's love. They could be at peace. Isaiah 9, 6. For a child has been born for us, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The candle represents the light of God entering a world of darkness in the person of the Christ child. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Snow adds a symbol of purity to our Christmas service. The first snow cleans the air as it covers the ground, leaves and clutter of autumn. Jesus was born as a human to make us clean before God. Isaiah 1, 18. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Those of you holding a dove, candle, or snowflake Please come forward and hang it on the tree. Join us in singing the first Noel. The star tells us of the epiphany. 
the time when the wise man saw the bright star in the sky leading them to the baby Jesus. Matthew 2.2 2. Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Our gift giving on Christmas morning reminds us of the best gift ever, God's Son. The wise men celebrated that gift with gifts of their own. Matthew 2:11 On entering the house they saw the child with Mary his mother and they knelt down and paid him homage. <clears throat> then opening their treasure chests they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. The ship serves as a reminder that long ago countries separated from the Holy Land by bodies of water started the tradition of celebrating Jesus' arrival in a ship. We, like ships carrying precious cargo, can carry the good news of the Savior's birth to others. Luke 2, verses 10 and 11. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Those of you holding a star, a gift, or a ship, Please come forward and hang it on the tree. Join us in singing O Holy Night. Praise His holy name. 
The empty cross symbolizes the risen Christ, the redeemer of humankind. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.18 For the world of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The candy cane represents the shepherd's staff with Jesus as the good shepherd. The colors symbolize the blood and purity of Christ. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. The evergreen tree symbolizes eternal life, even in the midst of the winters we encounter along life's journey. John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Those of you holding a cross, a candy cane, or an evergreen tree, please come forward and hang it on the tree. Join us in singing Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive our King. Let every heart prepare Him.
Thank you for sharing this special evening with us. Please join us after the service for refreshments in the, in the foyer. And um, may each of you be blessed with love and joy and the true meaning of this Advent and Christmas season. May we seek to live in the light of Christ's love and be ready when Christ comes the second time. And may we carry the peace of God wherever we go so that we may share God's peace with all that we meet. Join me in prayer. Dear Lord in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come into your house, Father, and worship as a family and prepare our hearts for the reason for this season, and that is that you sent your mighty son to come to earth as a humble child. But Lord, we know he didn't stay a humble child. We know that he is returning, and he is returning as King Jesus. Father, prepare our hearts for this season and prepare our hearts for that time when all eyes will turn to him and every knee will bow. Thank you, Lord. I love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shepherds kept their watching for 
Thank you. 